Hello everybody, this is Rachel. Welcome to part two of op orbiting objects in Python and Turtle. Um, in first tutorial, I show you how to uh, create very simple orbiting objects and by just writing plain simple scripting methods. And now imagine like you want to have, for example, 10, 15 objects and it's very like not very professional way to <clears throat> write this kind of programs like line by line and make each object separately then let's um, create something with classes I here uh, open one file I can name it um, solar class dot pi okay now first of all we're going to import our module here import turtle and take care of the screen so screen equal turtle dot screen and screen setup screen dot setup will be something like 650 650 and 0 0 Okay, these parameters, the first two parameters are the width and height of the screen. And second parameters are the position of the screen or board or screen, total screen on the monitor screen. So zero, zero is top left corner. So the two, um, uh, two second numbers are kind of screen method for our, for our screen. And the coordinates are not um, Cartesian. They are just a plain normal screen. The coordinates. So when now we run the code, actually we have to put it on the loop. Then turtle dot main loop. And when we run it, not clear CLS and what I call this okay by solar dot not dot solar underscore class dot pi. Then we have in top left. And for example, when we change this to seven hundred. It will go to the right yeah so the first number here I mean the third number is x coordinate and the the last one is y coordinate okay then just let it to be at zero and we change the background screen that bg color is black and let's have title for it screen dot title is solar system class version okay and another method you can use instead of bg or background color is i think a background picture something like that you can you can search it on a turtle documentation about all the screen methods and uh, it's it's very simple you can add some kind of for example space background or whatever you like but the file should be gif so because turtle doesn't accept any other format that's one advantage uh, that uh, pygame have over turtle Okay, and uh, anyway, now screen tracer from now the tracer we just set it to false for now. And mm, something was wrong. Screen tracer, yeah. Okay. Where is the typo? Tracer, not tracer, tracer. All right. Um, 
for now let's move this turtle dot loop which is like default uh, loop for turtle let's create our first class we call it class star for our son and in parent uh, the the parent class will be turtle so turtle dot turtle here and we need to write our constructor define thunder in it and self and some parameters we need to pass here so for example shape size the color and moving speed and x position and y position so anytime we want to create any object from this class we need to uh, specify these parameters but before we write our attributes we need to connect our class to parent class or to super class so there is two way to do that the first one is <clears throat> turtle dot turtle thunder in it self which is telling the python okay this class inheritance everything from the parent class and the parent class is turtle class so all the attributes that are available in turtle will be available for us also but this is a little bit long code then we can just comment this out and do it this way super parentheses dot thunder in it and parentheses Basically, it's telling the system the same thing, like, like, all right, look up here, and whatever is here is our parent class, and then include everything from the parent class or super class to our class. Same. And now we can take care of our attribute. Self that's pen up for now. Dispatching the pen from the paper or board or screen or uh, I don't know canvas whatever you want to call it self that shape will be circle and self dot shape size will be sh underscore shape uh, size and Self dot and color will be color. Self dot fill color again will be color. And self dot speed will be moving speed m underscore speed. Actually, it will be. Uh, we will not have speed for it because our star is not moving. Is the static part of the program. The center of the code which other uh, objects going to orbit around it and self that set position or set pose so here you can uh, you can write set position or just set pos set pose doesn't matter but this is more clear and here x position and y position and what else we know uh, we need uh, then so by this way we dispatch the pen we define the shape we will define the shape size we will define the color and fill color and the speed and the position of the object and after say okay everything is done then self dot pen down and draw the object so class uh, uh, star class it doesn't have any method so it's just very simple blueprint for our star now we can uh, create one object from this class then our object will be sun equal star and in a star we need to now specify these parameters here up there so three will be shape size the color will be 
<clears throat> the color will be yellow and the next one moving speed is zero then actually we don't even have to specify this but yeah it really doesn't we don't need it but never mind the x position is zero and the y position is also zero so now when we run the code again it will appear and disappear oh i have one error here down your init not eat okay one more time again because there is no uh, there is no uh, main loop or while loop now instead of using uh, turtle.main loop let's create while loop we say running one variable equal true okay and while true while running then um, for first time we can say screen dot update because every time you you use screen dot tracer as a method in your while loop you need to specify screen dot update so according that tracer method you specify up there it's going to update your screen and now when we uh, run the code we have a sun we have a screen the screen update is uh, taking care of the smoothness and animation somehow in um, not exactly technically as a pie game but it's uh, somehow it's basically taking care of this animation and smoothness and <clears throat> the while loop the running uh, while loop is taking care of the screen itself so it's keep it up and running okay now we're going to have another class. Uh, actually, we can also add everything in the same class, but let's be more specific. So we create class planet. All right. In class planet, we have again turtle dot turtle, and again the same things goes for them then define in it and here self again shape size color uh, now we have drawing speed another new attribute mm -mm -mm -mm. drawing speed what else we need to have? Let's have, for example, velocity, something like velocity. Not exactly velocity in physics. And um, X position and Y position. I think that would be all. Nothing more. Yeah. Okay. And again, um, again, super class, super, parentheses, thunder in it, parentheses. So here, self.shape, first self.pen up, self.pen up, self.shape, which will be circle and um for example set the pen size here we need set that pen size is drawing the thickness of the pen uh, for drawing and um, set that shape size will be sh underscore size and now um set that pen color actually set that pen color will be color set that fill color 
again color and um, self dot speed is uh, D speed which is drawing speed all right as I said this is a method uh, from turtle but here self dot V speed will be a method uh, attributes we are going to work with it's like moving speed or velocity speed we could also write it as a uh, moving speed it's not actually velocity mm. never mind and self dot set position now we can uh, write set the self dot set pause because it's same exactly so x position and y position and now another thing we need to have is self dot x equal self dot x core maybe we are going to need them and self dot y equal self dot y core x core and y core it's um, the, the x coordinates and y coordinates methods for turtle is uh, method from turtle then now let's uh, create our first star uh, planet star we can write here command uh, objects for example and all right we can copy these lines here so we can see what we are going to need to pass to each object as parameter and let's and here for example this then we know what each planet need to have so let's take care of uh, the closest one mercury mercury equal planet and these are numbers that i came up with so they might of course they are not accurate exactly as the solar system these proportions though. so 0 0.14 and the color will be white and drawing speed will be zero which means it draws the it's the fastest uh, drawing speed velocity will be um, 0 0.1 and uh, and x position will be 0 and y position will be minus 40 then now let's see what we have Okay, we have small, small um, mercury here. Yeah, but it's not moving. Then let's now take care of one method for our class, and we can call it define orbit self. And here we need a, again two parameter distance and angle. So self dot forward. The the last time we used um, circle method, which is drawing method from from turtle, but because the pen was dispatched from the uh, canvas or from the screen, we could see somehow uh, circling or movement. But this time we need to really use some kind of different methods to have uh, or the way of orbiting is more closer to real orbiting and now distance and here and self that left will be angle so somehow we try to specify exactly the uh, the movement itself so it's going forward but to this degree for example something like that and here in our while loop we can say mercury uh, mercury yes mercury 
Mercury dot orbit zero point one, which is the distance and zero point forty. Save it. And now Mercury is orbiting. Okay. So imagine um, we had to write everything like this program, this primitive way of writing. But and it will be, it could be, it could be possible. But we had to uh, write a lot of lines of codes. So. What we are doing here, we are creating a skeleton or blueprint of the code. And after we create an object from that blueprint and a skeleton. This is the main, uh, some of the main concepts of object-oriented programming. So it's, in my opinion, it's somehow it's kind of a static way of programming. We are creating a statics and after we are making, you know, like we are creating the model and after we are creating one object according to that model so one time you need to create that model and um, you can uh, write like thousand objects from that model you don't have to write the code over and over but if something is wrong with your model everything uh, that thing will be wrong in all your uh, objects so maybe that's somehow the downsides of this uh, object oriented method Okay, then now Venus will be, no, first we have to create the Venus. So, um, Venus is planet and it will be, um, size will be 0 0.35, 0 0.35. The color will be blue, um, or we can make it like blue four because um, there are a lot of uh, colors predefined for turtle. You just need to um, uh, Google it, <clears throat> and so here will be speed will be zero and velocity will be um, again 0 0.1 0 0.1 and um, the position will be 0 and minus 80 84 minus 84 and now venus uh, that orbit on this um, distance and angle. So the distance will be 0 0.1 and angle will be 0 0.080. It's kind of number I find the best for this uh, orbit. Something is wrong, Venus is not defined. Do I have a typo? Venus. Yeah, I wrote Venus, not Venus. I, I just discovered another new planet. Okay. And they are moving pretty smooth. Like you don't expect it from Turtle, but I think Turtle is a very underestimated <laughs> module. Okay, now. Um, it's Earth turn. So Earth equal planet and um, shape size will be 0 0.46. The color will be blue. And um, what else? Drawing speed is 0 and velocity 0. Point, um, 0 0.31 and x position is 0, y position is minus 125 
and we need to write an orbit for it that earth dot orbit on 0 0.031 and 0 0.015 Let's see if we have Earth. Yes, we have Earth. Now, the good part or a little bit tricky part is the moon. So first we need to create a moon. Moon equal also planet. But for example, if we want to have really accurate solar system, we could, um, we could for example, write another class just for moons, of, for all the moons, like or some of the moons that uh, the planets have. For example, some moons for uh, Jupiter or, or, I don't know, Venus or whatever. Then moon is a planet. And is the size will be small, 0 0.03. And the color will be white. And <clears throat> and speed is drawing speed is zero of course uh, and uh, velocity ten mm, and x position and y position is zero zero for now because of this because um, we need to specify these two. Um, two more attributes for moon to work uh, exactly how we want because we want as I said in the first uh, video uh, our moon uh, have to orbit around the earth and earth is orbiting around the sun so because of that we first we write here moon dot set x we are not going to use the orbit the way we use for other uh, <coughs> planets set x is setting the object uh, x coordinates in turtle so set x we can specify the coordinates as a parameter so set x is earth dot x core all right and moon dot set y is earth that y coordinates minus two okay and now we can say moon dot orbit at 10 and 0 0.2 so we are locking the moon around the earth it's not going yet anywhere it's going to orbit around the sun but in the same time going to orbit around the earth so we are kind of mimicking the gravity, not gravity that uh, lock that uh, is gluing to Earth. So I don't know how you want to call it. And now you see we have a moon and is orbiting around the Earth, and the orbit and the orbit is like moon is going closer to the Earth and it's going a little bit far from Earth. So have kind of difference between distance. Okay, somehow nice. Now we need to take care of three more planets, and because they don't have, um, they don't have any uh, moon or something, then let's just write them fast. So Mars equal planet, and will be zero point thirty nine, and the color will be red, and speed zero and um, drawing is with zero and the movement is 0 0.034 and um, x coordinate zero y coordinate minus 55 all right mm, and what else we have we have jupiter jupiter here is planet and size is 1.5 it's, it's kind of big the color is orange and again drawing speed is zero and 
mm, velocity or speed of movement is 0 0.032, x coordinate 0, and y coordinate minus 230. Another one is Saturn, is planet. Saturn is planet, the size is 1.2, the color is blue 1, and um, what else? The drawing speed is 0, and uh, movement is 0 0.030, and x coordinate 0, y coordinate minus 290. Okay, now let's take care of the orbits. Here we can say da, 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 what it was first Mars. Yeah, okay, then Mars dot orbit at 0 0.033 with 0 0.01300. Don't, don't get confused about these numbers, it's just experimental, I come up with them uh, when I was writing this program, so it's, I just took them up and down until I find the best, somehow best position for, uh, for setting them. Then after is Jupiter, Jupiter.orbit, and on 0 0.032, and with angle or degree 0 0.0100 and Saturn dot orbit 0 0.029 and 0 0.0080 oh okay Um, let's try it now. Now we have somehow solar system. Um, one thing you can do is try to come up with, uh, with some ways to have text on screen and, uh, for example, just print the um, the numbers for example for moving the earth on the screen if you can do it because it's a little bit tricky and uh, so that would be all for this uh, tutorial I'm going to write another solar system which is a little bit more accurate next time uh, I mean have some kind of um, real velocity with for example planets coming closer to the sun the speed is getting a little bit faster and have some kind of um, when one planet is docking around another uh, another star for example when planet docking around the star and going faster and coming far from the star and the velocity is getting slowly slowly uh, less and so this kind of mechanic or physics that uh, planets and stars in solar system uh, have and they are interacting with each other. I will try to uh, write it. Actually, I, I wrote it, I think it was um, two years ago. So I try to remember somehow how I did it. Okay, then if you like my tutorials, please subscribe. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next video.